There are little numbers. There are big numbers. Is there such thing as a beautiful number? A lot of mind-blowing facts about math involve common misunderstandings. When I was at school, the single most boring word in the entire English language was math. In fact, when I acted up at night, my mom would show me a math textbook and I'd be out cold in approximately eight seconds. True story. But it turns out math is actually a really cool, really surprising subject that'll blow your mind on a regular basis. Who knew? Well, I do, and now you will too. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 mind-blowing facts about math. 25. Pi. And by the way, that is no spelling mistake. Note how it's P-I-E and not P-I. I'm talking cherry, chicken, chocolate in a pastry case. Not pi like you might expect when speaking about math. Pi, that pi, is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter and is represented by a weird symbol that's been around since the 18th century. You may also be familiar with the movie Pi from 1998. Pi, the food on the other hand, is a dinnertime favorite, the recipe for which dates back to ancient Egypt. What's the direct connection here? Well, if you write pi out to two decimal places, you see this, 3.14. But if you flip it, you get this. Mmm, tasty and mind-blowing. 24. Pizza. From crusty pies to crusty pizza pies. Do you know what the volume of a cylinder is? Well, I'll save you some time. We use our old friend pi. If you take that volume and multiply it by the radius squared, then by its height, you're left with pizza. We get the Z from the radius and the A from the height. Technically, you should put pi times Z times Z times A if you're including the multiplication symbols, but I've chosen not to. I'm not a fan of extra toppings. Yes, I am. <laughs> if you're finding this list is making you hungry, you're not alone. And I should warn you, it's only going to get yummier. I am absolutely a fan of extra toppings. Blaze Pizza, for those of you who've never been, Try it. This is, this is my go-to in Blaze Pizza. I know we're getting off topic, but not really. We're talking about pizza. Regular crust, white sauce, mozzarella, gorgonzola, bacon, garlic, roasted garlic, roasted red peppers, and onions with a drizzle of balsamic vinaigrette. You are welcome. That is the Mike special at Blaze Pizza. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Comments below. 23. Chocolate. Here's a stat that'll blow your mind, not to mention boost your waistline. Those of us with romantic partners know the efforts people go to when it comes to Valentine's Day. Typically, you buy your loved one a box of chocolates. And with so many of us relying on cocoa solids to give our relationship a boost, that adds up to a lot of confectionery. 58 million pounds of chocolate are bought in the week before the big day alone. That's the weight of around 60 oil tankers. Ah, America, where we'll do anything except use the metric system. Any measurement at all. That's equal to 50,000 porcupines. I don't know if that's true. Someone let me know. 22. Cookies. Math isn't just used to work out stuff like angles and equations. You can use it in baking, too, with stomach-filling results. Specifically, you can create what's described as the perfect cookie. This is achieved by using the 3 to 1 ratio. What's that? Well, in recipe terms, it means that you have three parts flour to two parts fat to one part sugar. And if you're not aware of all things baking, I will elaborate. Basically, whatever amount you need in sugar is then doubled for the amount of fat and then tripled for the amount of flour. Put these things together and you should find yourself in cookie heaven. You know what? Enough with the food already. My tummy is rumbling. And if you really want cookie heaven, Gideon's, Disney Springs. Trust me on the pizza and trust me on Gideon's. You've seen me wear the shirts before. It's not, we're not sponsored by them. That's how much I love them. 21, 100. A lot of mind blowing facts about math involve common misunderstandings. Take 100, for example. What do you think 100 is? 100, right? Nope, it in fact means 120. Thanks to the duodecimal system, we have the wrong idea about what seems like a straightforward description. The duodecimal system itself was first introduced through ancient cultures and is based on the number 12. Everything is calculated with this number as a base. Which brings me to Hundrath, which is not a character from Game of Thrones, but the ancient Norse word translating as long hundred. 
because they relied on the number 12 and because we adapted their word for our modern usage, we're left with a false impression about what a hundred actually means. 20. Moon radius. Is it just me or is the moon a pretty small place? When you see people walking on the lunar surface in examples such as the classic moon landings footage and photos from 1969, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's just a little piece of rock which orbits our planet. However, the actual size of the moon will surprise you. The radius alone is an eye-opener. Using math, we can work out that the moon's radius is around 1,080 miles between the center and the surface. That's the equivalent of a journey between New York and Florida. 19. Water Mass you probably already know that around 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. It's a great time to be a fish. Or is it? Taking a deep dive into the subject reveals the wet stuff isn't as lovely as it seems. Looking at stats across the planet, we see that a mere 3% is freshwater, and most of that is in the form of ice. We rely on non-salty water for drinking purposes, so if we need to travel to the frozen wastes in order to collect this scant amount that's there, we may be facing a big problem down the line. 18. Baker's Dozen A dozen equals 12. Even a math dunce knows that. Think of a baker's dozen and you're probably picturing 12 juicy donuts or 12 freshly baked loaves of bread. But this isn't the case at all. Turns out a baker's dozen is actually 13. Unlucky for some, depending on whether you count 13 donuts as an unfortunate situation. The reason behind this stretches, like dough you could say, all the way back to the 13th century and the time of Henry III. There was a problem with bakers not giving customers value for money. After a royal decree ordering them to straighten up and fly right, they then overcompensated to avoid a harsh punishment. Hence, 12 became 13. It was better than winding up in a dungeon. Plus, isn't it a strange coincidence that the baker's dozen of 13 was introduced in the 13th century? Mind-blowing and spooky. I have a story about this. Uh, one of my first jobs ever, I was working at Einstein Bagels and one of my very first customers too, he walks up and I'm like, hi sir, how can I help you? What would you like? And he goes, I want a, or how much is a dozen? And I go, do you mean price or do you mean amount? And he goes, of course I mean price. I know that your dozen has or your, baker, your dozen has 12, and I go, actually it's 13, and he was very mad at me. So, fun Mike story. Anyway, I digress. 17, Pythagoras. Let's move on from meals and misunderstandings, hey, and start focusing on the big names in math, the heavy hitters, like Pythagoras. Remember giving yourself a headache trying to understand Pythagoras theorem back in the day? Well, you may be surprised to know that Pythagoras didn't even come up with the idea in the first place. Plimpton 322 is where you need to look for the truth. It sounds kind of like a hair restoration product, but in fact, Plimpton 322 is an ancient Babylonian tablet. So while the classic idea that the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the opposite sides dates back several thousand years, it took till the 6th century BCE for Pythagoras to popularize it and stick his name on it. 16. Fibonacci Sequence if you've not heard of the Fibonacci sequence before, prepare to have your mind not only blown, but bent to a shape of a pretzel prior to detonation. Leonardo Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician in the 13th century, who discovered something so powerful that it reflected the world around him in multiple ways. This sequence is so perfect, it's also referred to as the golden ratio. What makes it like that? Well, look at a seashell, for example, and its spiral design or much bigger things, such as a hurricane. They follow naturally occurring patterns that can be expressed via the Fibonacci sequence, where each number is made up of the sum of the two previous numbers. Zero plus one equals one, one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, two plus three equals five, and so on. Fibonacci worked out that a mathematical sequence appeared to underpin a lot of stuff in our surrounding environment, pretty much demonstrating that Mother Nature was one heck of a mathematician. 15, happy birthday. If you work in a place with a bunch of other folks, you're always going to be celebrating someone's birthday. Break open the cake boxes, it's Steve in the mailroom special day. Then Susan from accounting needs a shout out. Now Hakeem the IT guy is do a slice. It never ends. Yet birthdays also present a mind-blowing math-based reality. Or to be more precise, a birthday problem. This discovery, 
and it isn't clear who made it, it revealed that a random sample of people on any given day will always feature at least a couple of birthdays in the mix. Not sure why it's described as a problem, however, because to me that just means more cake and plenty of it. So, you know what? I say fire up those candles. If you're thinking of hitting pause and grabbing some sugar, don't go anywhere. We have some more mind-blowing facts coming at you, like a math teacher driving to a calculator convention. 14. The number 4. Now, we're going to look at numbers that are given special qualities. Unlucky numbers, numbers with surprising backstories, that kind of thing. What number are we starting with? 4. Yeah, it seems pretty ordinary, but 4 is special in its own way. If you write it out, you'll probably see what we mean. You spell it F-O-U-R. Four letters to write the number four. Hmm, is that so special, spelling a number with the same amount of letters? It most definitely is, because four is the only example where this happens. Plus, if you bump up to 40, then there's another intriguing fact. The word 40 is spelled out with all the letters in alphabetical order. So as you can see, stuff related to four can be a real talking point for mathematicians. 13. Unlucky 13. For number 13 on our rundown, we've chosen, well, the number 13. We may be asking you for trouble being so on point regarding the world's unluckiest number. However, it gets me thinking. Why is 13 considered unfortunate in the first place? It seems to have a long and not very noble history. Let's start with Loki. This classic Hellraiser, who according to Marvel Studios is an absolute dreamboat, creates chaos wherever he goes. Even what's described as a dinner party for the Norse gods wasn't safe from his pandemonium-inducing presence. An ancient poem describes how he rocked up and began throwing shade on his fellow deities. Now, his position at the table was said to be number 13. Coincidence? Maybe not. Those who know their Bible studies are aware that Judas is considered the 13th guest at the Last Supper. Ultimately, it isn't known precisely how we came to loathe the number 13. You can see it in various historical details all of them grim. It's just one of those thoughts that stuck and is still with humankind today. I mean, look at it now, go to an elevator. Chances are your building doesn't have a 13th floor. 11, 12, 14. 12. Googleplex. There are little numbers. There are big numbers. And then there are numbers that are so big they smash their way out of the side of the calculator. One of the most eye-wateringly large numbers in existence is the Googleplex. That consists of a 1 followed by no less than 100 zeros, or 10 raised to the power of 100. Yes, I'm aware that when I say 100, it doesn't technically mean 100, as I mentioned earlier. You're just being a teacher's pet, so get off my back. By the way, if you're wondering if this is where Google got its name from, then you'd be correct. In fact, the world-beating search engine was originally going to be called Google, with an O. When someone managed to misspell that, well, an internet legend was born. 11. Card Shuffling We're approaching the top 10 of mind-blowing facts about math. Think we're running out of steam? <laughs> You'd be wrong. We still have a payload of head-scratching facts to go, from the humbled goose to a child's Lego set. Never let it be said that we don't give you variety here at List 25. Our next entry concerns counting cards, specifically playing cards. I don't know about you, but I'm mesmerized by the sight of an expert card sharp shuffling the pack, of which I am not. And if you're anything like me, trying to perform this move results in cards flying all over the place. Yet, beyond the visual spectacle, there's a crazy mathematical detail behind a good shuffle. Can you believe there are so many ways to shuffle a deck of cards that the combinations could theoretically last longer than the lifespan of the universe? As stated by Cassandra Lee of McGill University, the hand of cards you hold in your palm during a game is a complete one-off. How many of these combinations are there? Well, apparently 8 times 10 to the 67th power, or 8 followed by 67 zeros. And that's just an approximate guess. You can kind of, oh, it's going to be hard to shuffle and, uh, well, oh no. I can't, this is hard to do without a table. Ah, I'm all right. I'm not a uh, not a professional card, but there you go. Oh, these are minimalist cards, by the way. These are very, very minimalist cards. I got them in an art museum in Nashville, Tennessee. 10, geese. You've heard the saying of a tough old bird, right? Well, that applies to the old Canadian goose more than most. They famously migrate through the air for both food and climate purposes. 
When it comes to how far they actually travel, the facts are going to blow your mind. The numbers are enough to impress any mathematician. The overall journey encompasses a colossal two to 3,000 miles. That's pretty tiring. And becomes even wilder when you hear about the daily flight rate. A particularly determined goose, there's a description I never thought I'd use on this channel, can cover an incredible 1,500 miles in one go. You will never look at a UK Christmas dinner the same way again. Nine, men are odd. Here's a fact that'll boggle your brain. Gender can be linked to numbers. Back in 2012, a study was published that explored the idea of a connection between certain numbers and certain sexes. This isn't a new idea. In fact, it can be traced back to both ancient Greece and ancient China. Reportedly, an even number represents a female, and an odd one represents, well, you've guessed it, us guys. I always thought we were a little peculiar anyway. Things get a bit more specific with the research I mentioned earlier. Babies were assigned odd and even numbers, giving folk very little to go on when it came to identification. In a startling development, people thought the odd-numbered babies were male and the even ones female. Because it's such a long-standing idea, I can only guess as to why this appears to be hardwired into our brains. People just seem to think that way, which is simply amazing. 8. Geometric Cuts I want you to imagine, you're at a party with 8 guests. There's a cake. Mm. Oh yes, more cake. And you need to divide it into eight pieces. Not just eight pieces, but those pieces need to be the same size so people don't go away feeling shortchanged. My question is, what's the fastest way to do this? I'm gonna let you in on a mind-blowing mathematical secret. You can get eight pieces of cake making just three cuts of the knife. The details are surprisingly simple. You cut your cake down the middle, then across. Okay, that's only four pieces. You get the eight by stacking up the four, then you cut in half, and there you have it, eight satisfied guests. Now I'm gonna assume this cake does not have to have icing because that's gonna get pretty messy by stacking cake pieces. So let's just assume this is a short cake. Why not? Seven, temperature. Celsius and Fahrenheit are used to measure temperature, though they can easily cause confusion. They're separate things, of course, Celsius being a standard found worldwide and Fahrenheit being mainly associated with the US. However, all that's redundant when it comes to a particular temperature. There is one reading where Celsius and Fahrenheit don't matter due to the fact that they become one and the same. This specific temperature is negative 40. I can tell you exactly how the calculation is made, but that's gonna take up a video in and of itself. All you need to know is that two different systems match up at the magic number of negative 40. That's incredible enough for me. It's good to know if you're out in the Arctic, perhaps. Six, Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube is one of the most recognizable puzzles on the planet. You can have hours of fun twisting all the colorful bricks and getting them to line up. While you're having this fun, has it ever occurred to you that you were enjoying math? You don't crack the cube by playing with it at random. There's a methodical and precise way to get where you're going. Its inventor, Ern Rubik, stated that it took him weeks to solve, and he's the guy who came up with it. I won't spoil things by revealing the fastest way to solve a Rubik's Cube, Where's the fun in that? Instead, I'll give you an idea of how many ways there are to scramble one of these beauties. 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 856 thousand. No wonder the Rubik's Cube has endured as a brain teaser. Five, tetraphobia. I said earlier that four is unique in that it contains the same number of letters, i.e. four, F-O-U-R. This makes it special. However, not everyone is happy with the number four. The reasons for this go beyond the world of mathematics and into the realm of superstition. You see, in Asia, there's a word meaning death that sounds worryingly similar to four. That must be a drag when it comes to birthdays. My baby's four, your baby's dead? That would put a damper on the festivities, I'm sure. Still, you could always impress people with your cutting eight slices of cake and three moves trick. On a serious note, this affects different aspects of society over there. Four is reportedly seen as a no-no for a house number or your phone number. Three doesn't come off so well either. It's generally believed that three is the magic number for breakages. If you accidentally drop and smash a mug, you might want to think about finding another pair of mugs you don't much care for and throwing them on the floor. That way, there's a positive outlook, though if friends drop by for coffee, you're kind of stuck. Four, 
hair. You may think that you lose the occasional hair from your head on a daily basis. Actually, the stats on this are a lot more surprising and horrifying. Believe it or not, you're set to lose between 50 and 100 hairs from dawn to dusk. Luckily, there are approximately 100,000 hairs up there anyway, so provided you have a full head of hair, there's not much to worry about. Still, that is one extraordinary amount to shed. Where do they all go? Hmm. Something to bear in mind next time you're chuckling at a bald person. 3. Lego As a child, I loved Lego. I still do. And it's great to see kids still using it today. Kids plus adults if you watch stuff like Lego Masters. There's a real art to handling these colorful bricks. Well, you can always just cram them together and hope for the best. It's guaranteed fun either way. How much Lego is produced by these billionaire brick magnates? The answer is mind expanding. There are around 36,000 bricks emerging from the Lego factory every minute. Multiply that into a typical working day and we have enough Lego to build a real Death Star, not just a toy one. In another extraordinary move, Lego has become the world's biggest supplier of wheels. They apparently beat the likes of Goodyear. Though, good luck winning the Grand Prix with tiny plastic wheels. 2. 6,174 Is there such thing as a beautiful number? Some certainly believe there is. And that number is 6,174. Doesn't sound particularly lovely, I have to say, so what's the story here? Also known as Capricar's constant after the 20th century mathematician D.R. Capricar, it takes a deep dive into how 6174 is arrived at. Here's the system he worked out. Take a number with four digits, which should feature two or more different digits, one of which is zero. Then create another number using the same method. Next, you need to arrange both numbers so the digits are in ascending and descending order respectively. Then subtract the smaller one from the larger one, then keep subtracting until you land on a specific number, which reportedly is 6174. Quite why this happens isn't clear, but it does demonstrate how a seemingly ordinary number can have a fascinating and beautiful pattern behind it. 1. Plato Even if you don't know much about philosophy, you'll have probably heard of Plato. This ancient Greek figure loved nothing more than to apply his mind to various aspects of everyday life. One of these aspects was social engineering. He took a decidedly mathematical approach to this, stating that there was a specific number of citizens required in a state in order for everything to run smoothly. That number was 5,040. How did he come to this conclusion? For him, 5,040 could be divided up efficiently in order to have a happy and healthy society. The reasons he gives for this are, well, mathematical. And it should be pointed out there's no evidence to back up his claims other than they had a nice long thinking session, and that's what he came out with. This alone is enough to blow anyone's mind. So, are there any mind-blowing facts about math you think we've left out? Have we miscalculated? Or did we sum it up all pretty nicely? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this list, you'll love 25 famous numbers and why they're important. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias including my personal ones. Links in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, I'll see you next time. Time is a number. Math.